Hello, lovely people! How are you guys doing? What's up? Hi, Mouse! In today's video, we're trying out some microwave mug recipes. Now, I'm very confused because we're gonna make pizza, donut, burrito. How are we gonna cook those in the microwave? Brain is confused. Stomach is hungry. Let's just jump right into it. This is how my brain works. I see something delicious on the internet. I need to try it out. Oh, hello! <laughs> Today, I'm either going to have something super delicious for lunch or my microwave will explode. What do I have to lose? Oh yeah, my microwave. <laughs> I brought my microwave in the studio because we're cooking or what? Now this is the latest microwave technology over here. Wanna see what my microwave can do? Okay, but don't be jealous. See this button over here? You press it and the door pops open. I know. We're gonna start off with a breakfast burrito. Oh my God, this mug with this tabletop, mm, so pretty. I told you guys that one day I'm gonna have a lilac house where everything inside will be lilac. I'm already starting to work on it. <laughs> lilac, blue and pink, yes. Can you spot my phone? Perfect match. So our breakfast burrito is supposed to look like this. I know, so delish. <laughs> Obviously for our burrito, we're gonna need a tortilla. What is a burrito without tortilla? A makeup look without sparkles. That's what it is. <laughs> now I have to be super extra careful because I don't want to break the tortilla. This is very important and you're gonna see why. But just bear with me while I'm trying to shove this mm, tortilla into a, into a mug, which is obviously too small. Come on tortilla, come on baby, you can do that. Yeah, nice. You wanna have something like this. Okay, so now inside there we're gonna crack two eggs. We don't want to get any shells inside there. We don't want to make our burrito crunchy. One more egg. Whew. Well, well, well. Look at our eggs chilling in their private pool over here. Oh my God, it looks so cozy inside. Now, I have no idea if there are any egg shells in the bottom of the, of the cup. You see, I can't really see. Now, taking a fork and I'll need to super extra gently whisk those eggs inside there without tearing the tortilla. Well, I don't think that you're supposed to be that nervous when you're making a burrito. Oh my God. Okay, I think this is enough. Next, I'm taking some black beans. Oh, this is the first time I'm gonna have black beans. I've never had those. You know what goes well with everything? Cheese, my friends, cheese. You can put cheese on literally everything. Some salt, some pepper, gently mixing that very carefully. What this recipe teaches us is that you need to treat your burrito like a newborn. Oh no. In the recipe they... I messed it up. <laughs> it's also said that you can put some scallions in there, but I really don't like those. They're green. <laughs> Not because they're green. I feel like it's something about the texture. They taste like crunchy rolls of paper. Blech. Blech. One minute and 20 seconds. You guys ready? Let's go. I'm very concerned about the eggs. I'm afraid that they won't be able to cook properly in the microwave. I've never cooked eggs in the microwave. All right, you guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. Please don't explode. Oh my God. No. The eggs started boiling and they... Don't interrupt me, I'm talking. I was saying that the eggs started boiling and they were trying to desperately get out of that cup. And unfortunately, their attempt was their, their attempt was successful. Who is gonna clean that microwave now? What is this? Eww. Okay, so in the recipe they say that if the eggs are still liquid, you're supposed to put that in the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds more. This is so disgusting. It's the egg that spilled out. 20 more seconds, here we go. My eggs are still very liquidy. <laughs> Okay, eggs still look liquidy. Why does food has to look so disgusting when I cook it? Listen, I like eggs, but I don't like to eat them raw. I'm a simple human. I like my eggs cooked. <laughs> Maybe 30 more minutes? Minutes? No, seconds. Oh yeah, so in the recipe they warn us that there can be an 
explosion. See, when I read something, I don't read everything. <laughs> I just read the most important information, but obviously this time I didn't read the most important information. Somehow I skipped it. It happens very often, by the way. Okay, I think that it's ready. It's quite bouncy now. I'll need to let it sit for three minutes, then we're gonna put some sauce on top, make it nice and salsy. I guess. <laughs> Two very boring minutes later. Okay, I'm back. I got some salsa. This is a mild one because I don't enjoy fires in my mouth. And we're gonna put that on top. All the recipes that I'm following today are by Bigger Boulder Baking. Now they also say that you can put some sour cream. Why can't I talk today? You can put some sour cream on top. I couldn't find sour cream in the grocery store. I don't know what kind of grocery stores we have here, but no sour cream. I bet this is the first time you see someone eating a burrito with a spoon. <laughs> It's weirdly nice. The texture is very weird. <laughs> this is how it looks inside. As you can tell, the eggs are completely cooked. I didn't know that you can cook eggs in the microwave. Oh my God, is this paper? It looks like paper. <laughs> Oops, maybe it's tortilla. Oh yeah, it's tortilla. It's tortilla, I think. <laughs> Oh, it's hot, not spicy, hot from heat. I feel like the sour cream would really make a huge difference though. Ah, oh, it's hot. <laughs> I burned my tongue with the bottom of the spoon. Some things you can just see them coming, you can prevent them from happening, but you do them anyways. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, then we need to move on. From one to 10, I'm gonna give this seven. If you add scallions and if you add some sour cream, I think that this would be really good. I can handle scallions only if they're cut in a really, really tiny pieces where I don't feel like they're in there. I don't mind the taste, I don't like the texture. But yeah, I think that this was a success. Yay! I wasn't expecting those eggs to come up like that. I was expecting fails and disasters, but all I got is success and delicious eggs. <laughs> Am I really complaining about things going well? Denny, wake up! Spaghetti every day, spaghetti every night. But how about pizza for tonight? Next, my friends, we're making pizza. <sighs> pizza in a mug? Oh, Italian people watching this video are probably like... <coughs> when your doctor tells you to have only one mug of pizza. <laughs> what? First, we'll need four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Next, we're gonna need some baking powder, just a tiny little bit. Boom. And we'll need one sixteenth teaspoon baking soda. Oh my god, that must be very little. Yeah. Three tablespoons milk. One, two, three. And one tablespoon olive oil. Oh no, I messed up my tabletop. That's not good. I think that this is a little too dry. <laughs> Maybe I can add a little more milk and some olive oil. So this is how it looks so far. It's not as dry as it was, but it's a little too wet. Maybe it needs a little more flour. Yeah, make it rain flour. I don't really know what the consistency should be though. Is it good though? Or is it too sticky dough? Or is it too dry dough? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but it kind of looks good to me. So we're gonna keep on moving. Next thing that we're gonna add on top is going to be this sauce, pizza sauce. Ah. I'm gonna add some of it on top. Whoa, I like my pizza saucy. <laughs> I mean, if you don't put enough sauce on your pizza, what are you even doing? You can't be sassy if your pizza is not saucy. I'm gonna add some cheese on top. We're generous with that cheese. We're not holding back. The cheese is the main ingredient in pizza. If there is no cheese... If you don't put cheese in your pizza, what are you even doing? In the recipe, they also say that you can add five mini pepperoni on top of your pizza. I have some salami here. It's still pretty good. I couldn't find many versions of those, so I have an idea. This is a little cup from a setting spray, so maybe I thought I can improvise. Oh no, I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> it's stuck in there. Come on, get out, get out. Boom. <laughs> Ooh, it worked. So far, this is how my pizza looks. What do you guys think? Would you like to try it out? It doesn't look so good, so if you say no, I'll understand. What I'm gonna do with the rest of the salami over here? I have an idea. Let's do a salami sandwich. Here is how you do it. You start off... Oh my God. <laughs> you 
start off with a layer of salami, this is going to be the base of our salami sandwich. Then for the filling of our salami sandwich, you put some salami. And then on top, guess what? Salami. Taste test. What can I say? Gordon Ramsay just called me and asked for the recipe. I didn't give it to him. Why is salami so good? Okay, you guys, moment of truth. Let's see. So I guess that's it. It's done. It looks like this. It's very liquidy and it has so much grease in there. Oh my God. <laughs> the dough is raw. I think it needs a little more. Let my spoon go. Let it go. Okay, let's put it in the microwave for a little more. Maybe my microwave is not strong enough. Come on, cheese. It's time to let it go. That was 30 seconds more in the microwave. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> oh my God, why does it make that sound? Guys, the, the dough is still raw. Look, it looks super raw. What is this? 30 seconds more in the microwave. Let's hope that it will finally cook. <sighs> the dough is still raw. It's supposed to look like bread. It doesn't look like bread. Yeah, this one looks a little more cooked, but still it's quite raw. Do I really want to eat that? Well, let's try it out. I don't like this. For this attempt to make a pizza in a mug, I'm gonna give myself two. And I think that I'm generous, to be honest with you. <laughs> Every time I try to cook something, no matter if it's the easiest recipe ever, the easiest thing, I always leave evidence behind me. There is always evidence that I've been cooking. And you can tell exactly what I was cooking. See, so we have some egg here, some sauce. I'm giving you a tour of the evidence. We have a big drop of oil, a small drop of oil. What's one common thing between this drop of oil on my table and my face? They're both greasy. We also have some flour and you can see exactly how I was trying to wipe it off. You can see exactly what the motion was. Something like this. Okay, so next my friends. Oh my God, this was so dangerous. Why did I do it? I can't trust my hands. Why I'm doing that brain? Wake up. So now my friends, we're gonna do a donut in a mug. Jelly donut in a mug, magnet. We're gonna start off with some butter. Yeah, we're putting that in the microwave for 20 seconds. Let's see what we're doing next. Next up, we're moving on to the flour. We're gonna put four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Danny, try not to mess it up this time. I'm gonna need to separate the yolk from my egg. Oh my God, I hate doing that. I hate it, I hate it. This is my least favorite part when I'm cooking something. Okay, bloom, perfect. Two tablespoons of sugar. One, two, eh, maybe a little bit more. One tablespoon milk. Boom. My spoon passed out. Half teaspoon of baking powder. Some cinnamon. Okay, and we're mixing that. Oh. This looks... I was about to say that it looks promising, but it also kind of looks like baby's vomit. It smells nice though. Okay, this is the best part. So I'm taking some jam, strawberry jam. Hey, I was expecting this to smell better. Look how tiny it is, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks like a tiny pool of strawberry jam. I just wanna in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take my strawberry jam and I'm gonna shove it in the center of that donut. Cover it up. All right, little buddy, and off you go. Don't come back until you taste like a donut. Now, this is supposed to be in the microwave for 45 seconds. Okay, it looks like this, but I think that it needs a little more, you guys. It looks too wet. Right out of the oven, it looks like this. I mean, it's pretty solid. Is this too dangerous? I think that this is too dangerous. Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's dig in. See what we've got here. <gasps> It cooked. Look guys, it's completely cooked inside. I mean, maybe it's a little moist, but wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, all right. There is no way 
I just made this. Guys, I think we have a winner. If there is one recipe you wanna try out from today's video, this is it. Try out the donut. Oh my god, it's brilliant! It doesn't have the texture of a donut though. I think that the name is a little misleading. It tastes more like a cake with cinnamon and some jam in there. Even though the name is a little confusing, that doesn't change the fact that it's so good. I mean, I have a huge sweet tooth, like a huge one. I basically like anything that is sweet, but this is pretty good. I can't believe that all of those ingredients actually baked. My brain is so confused, but my stomach is not hungry anymore. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to add some more jam and some cinnamon sugar on top of it. The recipe said that after it's done, you can add some jam on top of it, some cinnamon sugar. I think I got a little too excited. Who has time to finish up the recipe? It's so good, I forgot to complete the recipe. I didn't know that my microwave was capable of doing stuff like that. It's been sitting in the corner of my kitchen acting innocent and stuff yeah i'm only here to warm up your spaghetti that's pretty much all i can do <laughs> you liar conclusion is microwaves are sneaky you guys <laughs> they can do so much more than we think that they can do that's why you should watch my videos to get the most out of your microwave <laughs> don't let your microphone microphone <laughs> don't let your microwave be sneaky and lazy Use it. You come back here, I wanna tell you something. I think that the mug recipe that was 100% worth it, the donut. Guys, you need to try it out. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I also have a second channel, you can check it out. Although, me and Mouse have officially moved on my main channel here, don't worry, I'm gonna keep on posting videos on my second channel. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.